Hello everyone, I am Charlene S. Lungasa and I am one of the discussant for today. Do you want to know the story behind the play The Contrast by Royal Tyler? If yes, just keep on watching. This section talks about the author Royal Tyler. Royal Tyler was born on June 18, 1757 and died on August 26, 1826. He was an American jurist and playwright. Boston was his birthplace. He graduated from Harvard University in the year 1776 and then served in Massachusetts militia during the American Revolution. He was admitted to the bar in 1780, became a lawyer, and fathered 11 children. The picture touched was his portrait. The Contrast was an American play in tradition of the English Restoration comedies of the 17th century. Royal uses the form to satirize Americans who follow British fashions and indulge in British vices. It is considered the first American comedy that was professionally produced. He play itself, a comedy of manners, evil weights, homemade versus foreign goods and ideas. The characters in the play are Charlotte, Colonel Manley's sister, lives with her uncle in New York, has friends and good social standing, a coquette. A coquette means a woman who flirts. Leticia, friend of Charlotte and ward of Charlotte's uncle, possesses monetary wealth which makes her attractive to Dimple. Mr. Billy Dimple, the villain, a dandy, attempts to manage relationships with Charlotte, Leticia, and Maria at once. In need of money, an Anglophile fop. Maria Van Ruff, daughter of Van Ruff, sentimental and virtuous. Colonel Henry Monley, contrasting character of Mr. Dimple, a persona of America, a gentleman, patriot, and hero. Van Ruff, Maria's father. Jessamine, Dimple's waiter, servant, a snobbish as his master, a persona of Europe. Jonathan, Manly's waiter, servant, represents the New England Yankee, an unsophisticated country, bumpkin, honest, and patriotic. Jenny, Maria's waiter, servant, Jessamine's friend. I didn't find an actual video of the play, but to better understand the story behind it, I just included some visual representations of the characters. Listen attentively as I am now going to tell you the story of the play. The setting took place in New York City, New York. The play begins with a coquettish Charlotte and Leticia talking about the forthcoming marriage and Maria's distress due to her father's marriage plans for her. Billy Dimple's father was Van Ruff's business partner. Before the death of Dimple's father, a marriage between Van Ruff's daughter Maria and Dimple was settled. While Dimple becomes snobbish in England, Maria betakes herself to books that improve her taste. The contrast was so striking betwixt the good sense of her books and the flimsiness of her love letters that she discovered that she had unthinkingly engaged her hand without her heart. In the second scene, Maria bemoans the helpless situation of her sex. Reputation is the life of a woman, and the only safe asylum of women of the legacy can find is in the arms of a man of honor. Even though Maria reveals to her father a lack of love towards Dimple, old Van Ruff still wants her to marry Dimple, stressing that money makes the marriage go. For him, his daughter's feelings are nonsense and money is the most important thing she should look out for. In a time when women usually were detained from enlightening their opinions by means of literature, biographies were acceptable but no novels since they were taught to produce a wrong worldview. Her father concludes that her sadness comes from these vile books. Not wanting to disappoint her father, Maria consents. In Act 2, Charlotte discovers that her brother, the good and honorable Colonel Manley, is in town. Manley fought in the Revolutionary War and is dressed in a soldier's coat, which seems totally unfashionable to the city's high society. Without knowing from each other's affair, Leticia and Charlotte secretly reveal to the audience that they are also courted by Dimple. 
snobbish Jessamy meets simple Jonathan, who has never been to such a big town and almost kissed a harlot without realizing it. Jessamy convinces almost married Jonathan to pursue some maids in the city. Jessamy introduces Jonathan to Jenny, and after the former takes his leave, Manly's manservant tries to kiss the girl. Jenny refuses angrily since she thinks Jonathan much too fashionable for her. In Act 3, Dimple says he loves Charlotte for her lively character but needs Letitia's money. He also wants Maria to decline the match. Then Dimple, the villain, meets Manly and finds out that the colonel is Charlotte's brother, just in time to prevent himself from telling Manly about his detestable attitude towards women. Dimple has an extensive monologue where he declares his love for European culture despite living in America. In Act 4, Maria tells Charlotte that Dimple insults and disgusts her and that she met a lovely man full of honor which is Manly this morning. Charlotte, being interested in Dimple, unsuccessfully in divorce to excite her to discharge him. Manly and Dimple and the family relations are revealed to all characters. Van Ruff, meanwhile, finds out about Dimple having lost £17,000 due to gambling and decides not to have his daughter been married to such a fool. In that moment, he more or less accidentally overhears a conversation between Manly and Maria, revealing their love and affections to each other. In Act 5, Jessamy fails to teach high society's rules of laughing to Jonathan, who just laughs too naturally. Dimple meets Letitia, telling her that he loves just her and that Charlotte is nothing else than a trifling, gay, flighty coquette. Charlotte enters and Letitia pretends to leave. She observes the following happenings. After Letitia seemed to be gone, Dimple tells Charlotte that he is in love with her and that Letitia is an ugly creature. When Dimple forcefully tries to kiss her, Charlotte screams and Manly comes in to help her quarreling Dimple. Old Van Ruff prevents the men from stabbing each other and Letitia enters to reveal the happenings to everyone. After Dimple is gone dishonored, Van Ruff agrees to Manly's marriage proposal and Maria ends up with Manly. The end. In the play, Royal uses the form to satirize Americans who follow British fashions and indulge in British vices. Thus, the play is often concerned with portraying the contrast between European and American culture. Royal Tyler wrote the contrast in 1787. This was the first American written and produced play. The antagonist, Billy Dimple, is presented as a flippant, pallid, polite view. By view, he means a rich, fashionable young man. A dandy, the protagonist, Colonel Manley, is a perfect male specimen. His character promotes the American citizen-based society that was being formed at the time. The concept of American manhood as portrayed by Tyler included national pride, personal honor, and different sex desire. Various references are made to Dimple's sexuality in the play. In one scene, Manly says to him, Death from a man of honor would be a glory you do not merit. You shall live to hear the insult of a man and the contempt of that sex whose gendered smiles afforded you all your happiness. Gendered in this context means biased towards one sex over the other. Importance of the text On one hand, this play can be viewed as a piece of heteronormative propaganda from the 1700s. However, its impact and influence on today's culture proves that Americans embraced model of male behavior that our country was after in its formative years. Modern culture and media still present us with some of the same values, and we still view other countries' male cultures as less legitimate than our own.